Hey Vuforia developers, here with another quick tutorial, and this one about one of our most popular forms of targets, image targets. I'm gonna go through two ways to implement image targets. The classic way, through the Vuforia developer portal, and a newer way, instant image targets right in Unity. Now let's go and take a look. Now, before we get started, there's a couple things you're gonna need. First is Unity. You're also going to need the Vuforia SDK. We'll get that from the developer portal. And of course, an image you want to track and some content to augment it with. Now, before we jump in, a couple of recommendations when creating image targets. First is to make sure that it's a decent size. You want to make sure your image is at least five inches wide or around 12 centimeters wide. Make sure your image is flat and not glossy. Any curves or bends in the image can affect tracking negatively. And also making sure you're using paper that's not glossy can ensure there's no reflections to confuse your camera as well. If, if you do want to create an image target that is rounded, say around a soda can or something like that, check out our cylinder targets to accomplish that. All right, now let's jump right in. So the first thing we're going to need, of course, is the Vuforia SDK. So we're gonna to go to the Vuforia developer portal, go to downloads, and then the first link there on the page, we're up to Vuforia 9.7 as of the recording of this video. And we're gonna click on add Vuforia engine to Unity project. And click I agree. That's gonna download our Unity package. I'm just gonna drop that on the desktop here and then drag that Unity package into our project. And then click import and just click update to make sure we're on the latest and now with before I added we can go over to our scene view right click before engine and add the AR camera and the first thing we want to do let's go over to the properties in the inspector and look at the before behavior script and click on open before engine configuration to get Vuforia to work, we're gonna need a license key. And we can get one of those for free off the developer portal, as long as we're using Vuforia to develop our application. Once it goes into production, then you'll need to purchase a license. Let's click on add license. It's gonna open up the developer portal. And we can just click get development key. And this is just gonna be a development key for testing. So we'll call this the image target rover. Click the checkbox and confirm. Then click on the development key we just created. And click on the key there to copy it. Now let's come back into the Unity Developer Portal and paste in that key. Now the first way I'm gonna show you how to create an image target with the classic old fashioned way and that's right here in the developer portal. So to get started, we're gonna go into the develop tab, go to target manager, then add a database. So we're just gonna call this our rover image. Make sure device is still selected since we're just working with one image target right now. Click create and we're gonna click the database we created, rover image, and now we're gonna upload our image to this database. So I'm gonna click add target, make sure single image is selected, and I'm gonna choose my file type. That could be a JPEG or a PNG, a maximum size of two megabytes. I'm gonna click browse, and then choose my image. Now this next part is actually really important, so I'm gonna look in the camera for this one. The width property is very important. This is gonna set the scale size of your image. So essentially what Vuforia is looking for when it's trying to detect your image. So the width property is the physical width of your image in scene units, which is meters. That's what Unity uses. So in this case, our image is gonna be printed out on a single sheet of paper. I actually have it here. And that's an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper. So in the width, property here, I'm going to put in the width of the size of that paper, which in meters is actually 0 0.21 thought. 
Again, that's very important. That can change the tracking uh, ability of your image. If that isn't, uh, if that width size isn't accurate, you will see some tracking inconsistency. So really make sure that width property is accurate to what the physical image is going to be. So once we've set that, we give the image or a unique name that's gonna have in the database, I'll click add, and there's our image. Now, one reason why you'd wanna use the developer portal for creating an image target is what I'm gonna show you right here. So the first thing is we get a star rating for that image that we're gonna see. And that what that means is essentially how well will that, will that image track based on our best practices and recommendations. So five stars here, that's perfect, five out of five. So this should track really well. If you wanna see what Vufore is actually seeing to parse the image and understand what it's looking for and what it's tracking, we can actually do that here as well. So if we click on the name of the image, so we can see a preview of our image here. Then if we go down here to show features, that's actually gonna bring it to grayscale and that's what the before you camera is actually looking at is a grayscale version of the image. And it does that to create contrast edges in the image. So you can see here all the yellow dots that are in the image are essentially all the unique feature points in that image. And that's how Vuforia detects one image versus another and uses that for tracking as well. So that's just a fun fact about how Vuforia image tracking works a little bit. And you can see that here in the development. Now that we have our image target in our database, we can just download that database. So I'm gonna click download database. And since today we're using Unity, I'm gonna click Unity editor and then download. And that's going to give us a Unity package with our image target in it. There we go. Drag that to the desktop. So now with our Vuforia package added to the project, now we can add our image target that we got from the developer portal. Now that we have our AR camera, the next thing is, of course, adding the image target to the scene. So I'm going to come back down here, use Vuforia engine and image target. And in the inspector properties, in, in this case, we're using a database that we got from the developer portal. I'm gonna come over here to the right-hand side and choose from database. And it's asking us for, if we wanna use the default database. In this case, we have our own. So I'm gonna skip that for now. And then I'm going to import the Uni package that we created earlier and drop that anywhere into the project tab in Unity and then click import. And now once we do that, then back here in the image target behavior script in the inspector, I can choose our database. And in this case, since we already have just one image in that database, uh, it's gonna choose our astronaut scaled image that we uploaded earlier. And then if we zoom in here, you can see there's our image. Now, of course, we want to add something to that image. So we want our camera to show us something to augment it with some sort of content. So actually right over here, I do have a great little model. So I'm gonna take my FBX model here, drop it into my assets folder. Now that I have it here in my assets folder, I can just drag and drop it into the scene. And I wanna make sure that it's dragged into the image target asset so it becomes a child object of the image target. So now to test our image target experience, we can just use Unity's play mode. And to do that, I'm just gonna click the play button at the top of the screen, and that's going to open up our webcam. Hello. And we can test our experience right there. There you go. There is the Perseverance Rover. Now, option number two you have for creating an image target in Unity is what we call instant image targets. So this avoids having to go into the Unity developer portal at all, except for, of course, getting a license key and you can create your image target right in Unity itself. So it's just a little bit quicker for getting to creating your experience. So to do that, uh, this is assuming you, have, of course, have Vuforia set up in your scene here in Unity and your AR camera added. We're just going to, again, right click, go to Vuforia engine, image target, except this time, we're gonna make sure that under the type option for our image target, it is set to from image. And we can call the name for our target, the rover image instant. And this time we can set 
a 2D texture in Unity. So this could be an existing image that we have. Uh, you can set it to be that image target. So this time we don't have the image itself here in our project. We're gonna actually edit. So I have the image here. I'm just gonna drop it into my Unity project. I wanna make sure that the texture type here is set to Sprite 2D or UI, then hit apply. Now I can come back to my image target here and just drop in my image right into that texture object. And there is our image target. And again, just like before, I can take the Perseverance rover, drop it in scene, and of course make sure that the object is set as a child of the image target object. Now when you're setting an instant image target, again, it's very important to make sure that under the advanced uh, tab here in the image target behavior, that the width property is properly set to what the physical size of the real image is that you're going to be tracking. So here we can see that, and again, this is in scene units or meters. So this is set to 0.11 meters in width and 0.2 meters in height. And since we are using an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper, we're gonna make sure that our width property is set appropriately. And there we go. And just like we did before, we can test it right here in Unity. Now, of course, if you wanna test this experience out on an actual device, we can actually go and build to a device. So we're gonna to go to File, Build Settings. Let's add open scenes to make sure the scene we're working on is added to our project, and then choose the platform that you wanna build for. In this case, we're gonna build for Android. So we're gonna click Android, and switch platform, and then we can just build and run. And that's it, everybody. Thanks for checking out this quick tutorial about using Bufori image targets and instant image targets. Hope you found it helpful. Make sure to click like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.